Hey there everybody, it's me Charlie again, we're here back in the Go Theme Park's kitchen for another Go Cook and today we're going to have a go at, well you know it's a title of the video, it's candy floss so you know that's been everywhere, that's everywhere, fairs, theme parks, circuses everywhere you always get candy floss, it's been going a long time I've got a couple of notes here to tell you a little bit about candy floss several places claim the origin of cotton candy with some sources tracing it to a form of spun sugar found in Europe in the 19th century. At that time, spun sugar was an expensive, labour-intensive endeavour and was not generally available to the average person. Other suggest versions of spun sugar originated in Italy as early as the 15th century. I'm not going to read all of this. Machine spun cotton candy was invented by in, 19, in 1897, sorry. But then there's another one that was patented later than that in 1921, and what I found interesting about that is both dentists, dentists wanted to sell you cotton candy. Yeah, I can see that one. Anyways, we'll have a look at this cotton candy maker. So, here then, we've got our candy floss making machine. Got this bit at the top. It's like fine holes round here. Spins round eats up, your sugar melts, comes out here in strings, cools rapidly in the air, collects in this bit here. Then you get a stick, you know, twirl it a bit, pick it up, and then you got that, you got your cotton candy, you can stick it in a bag, stick it on a stick, in a cone, however you like it, you know. Now I have got some various sugars here for this, I've got five different ones, all of varying flavours and colours, so it should look nice and pretty. So. I don't think there's anything else we could do now but get a shot, is there? Let's go cook. Right, I think we should be warmed up now. It smells sort of vaguely sugary, so I'm going to chuck some of the sugar in. We'll start off with the raspberry one because that's pink, you know, we'll go for classic. Pink sugar, raspberry flavoured, scoop. Stop it spinning a sec, wait a bit of luck. Might have been a bit of a big scoop. It's candy floss.
so I want to wrap it up after a bit. That's actually pretty cool. I wasn't quick enough with the collection a bit, so, and I've got a lot around the rim. <laughs> but, that's not a bad first try. Now, we're ready to try another flavour. This time I have peanut butter flavour, this says. Smells quite nice, so we'll give it a go. Smaller scoop this time, it was a bit much before. So. Out there. Turn it on. Get a stick at the ready. It smells really nice, that one. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> My mum's here as well. Because I was looking at a guy making it before I decided to make this video. And she was like, oh, I'd like to go at that. So in a minute, we'll let her have a go. It's neat when you get going. I think that's probably about it for that one. Tastes good. Right, we'll keep going with these. So next up we have got this lemon and lime flavour one, which is this nice, nice yellowy, yellowy greeny colour look. This should be a nice bright colour. I'm not going to roll this one up because my mum wanted to go, so she's going to handle this bit and I'm going to get behind the camera.
start, don't worry. <laughs> you got to try not to touch the hot ring in the middle of it, otherwise yeah. it'll remelt it. Okay. Once you get hang, it's not bad. But when you do it at first, it's like, oh yeah, I'm touching that bit and it's melting with sugar. Yeah. Now you've got some on it, if you put it above it and just sort of twist it, it should pick it up. You just move it around a little bit. Yeah. See? Oh, it's fine. Any good once you get it started, see what yeah. I mean? It just, you can just pick it up. Coming off the end, it's stick a lot, but <laughs> you can wrap it over probably. If you feel that stick's full, you can use another stick. There you go. I'll swap. I'll swap you around. You know if you and there's a bit in look. Yeah. All right, watch. Then when you turn it back on, you get a sudden surge. <laughs> Last bit. Oh. Just did pretty well, we'll get on to the next one. Right, so it's funny if you said to me, get a candy floss machine, they'd be like, that's daft. But as soon as you start making candy floss, everybody sees you that, hey, can I have a go? So now my dad wants to do it. So, he has chosen this, which is vanilla flavour sugar. It's my favourite uh, flavour of yoghurt, so I thought I'd follow you through and I'm a big ice cream lover, so vanilla's my favourite. Yeah, so he's going to do vanilla. So I'll go on camera, we'll get this going and we'll film that for you. Here we go, goes where it's forming, he's just going to get it going now. Trying to touch middle bit. No. So you get it, you just sort of twirl your stick above it. Yeah, I see. Get two hands. There you go, you see, once you get started it'll all just roll up. Oops. You don't need to go around, you can just, just curl it. Yeah. See? Because once it's got it started, it's all sticking together, so it, yeah. you know. It good. So am I doing, Charlie? Doing okay now that you're not uh, stabbing it yeah, into... This is the first one I've ever done, everybody. I'm a total beginner on this. <laughs> Nice thing to do, actually, everybody. Quite good, isn't it, when you get it going like that? You're yeah. just like, yeah, hey, I'm just wrapping up some marvelous, sugar. Yes, marvelous. Just like at theme parks, as I remember, when I used to go, you could get these at theme parks. They did it at um, Lisenberg, didn't they, when we went, I think? Yeah, it's the kind of thing I used to eat when I used to ride the black rider, you know, I needed one of these. Like Water Valley? Yes. One of the most dangerous rides in the world, as I remember. I think that's probably all of yeah, it now. Yeah, I think that's it. That's looking pretty good though, you got pretty yeah. good, uh, pretty good bit of cotton candy on go. Yeah, excellent. So now, I've got my final flavour here, because I've got five of them. Brown toffee. So we'll give this one a go. Here we go, any second now, you should get some candy floss coming out. It's 
smells quite nice. This one, some of these do smell really nice. I think that should probably do us. Right, we've got five flavours just here. Some have gone a bit flat because it's a bit of a warm, humid day. I've got the panel here to try things out. So, this one we did first, this is raspberry. So, if we want to try a bit, it's gone a bit more dense than normal because it's been sat, but. Mm -hmm. Taste raspberry. Taste raspberry. No, yeah. I can taste it. No, no. Yes, we can. And this one is peanut butter. Probably want some. Now it's got a bit of lemon and lime, I think. But... <laughs> I'm greedy, I'm having it all. Oh, man. <laughs> Just. Mm. Probably. Doesn't taste that much of peanut butter, but it does taste nice. Yeah. Like sugar, it probably is going to taste nice, isn't it? <laughs> this is lemon and lime. Lemon and lime. Yeah. I think that's coming through a bit. Mostly lemon. But nice. Yeah, mostly yeah. lemon. Yeah. It's citrusy. Mm-hmm. That'll be healthy then. Which one's full? That one I made because it's very pointy. No, yours was that one. Was yeah, it? That's one I made. Oh. That's one my dad made. So that's vanilla. This one's vanilla. Oh, let's taste vanilla. It smelled nice when you were doing this one. Mm. Yeah, taste vanilla, eh? Taste some vanilla in that. Now this one is brown toffee. Looks a bit pink. Mm, it's coffee flavoured. Yeah. yeah, that's alright. That's quite nice. That's like a, like nice. a brown sugar sort of one. Yeah. yeah. Well, taste wise, anyway. Yeah. A little bit of candy floss all in there. <laughs> I think it's uh, quite successful. Yeah, you know? that's how we got. Mm. Yeah. There are more flavours available. I mean, we could try some more sometime, but we'll have to see. I think it's interesting that everybody sees that and suddenly goes, can I have a go? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, because it's fun. Oh well, yeah, I think if, if at some point when, when we're allowed to be more sociable, it'd be interesting to take that out just into the street and just stand on that candy floss see how many people go, can I have a go? <laughs> and give it all to children so we don't oh, have yeah, all that kids, sugar. Kids can have it, that's alright. <laughs> I've got some spare sugar here I need to use up anyway. We're mm. going to take it to Anne and Paul's when we can uh, socialise. Yeah, 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 yeah like Jackson, Jackson and Eva and that, yeah, yeah. They'll love that. Yeah, yeah. they'll love it. I make some for Cinder, Cinder will like it. Oh, awesome. Little yeah. Cinder, you make some for Little Cinder. Yeah. I'd say she could come over and make some, but you can't have any. No. Well, otherwise, they'd have taken the Tolton Towers as well, and you'd have got that flow. Mm -hmm. It'd be fun, that, wouldn't it? But anyway, <laughs> as conclusion is, making candy floss is very fun, it's very sweet, we probably shouldn't eat too much of it. Ironic that it was originally marketed by pair of dentists on two separate occasions, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> now I hope you've all enjoyed this video today. If you stayed to the end, thank you very much, we really appreciate it, it means a lot. If you're it is up in the comments, tell us what you think of things, give me a like. I'm on Facebook as well on Go Theme Parks. If you check out Go Theme Parks just about anywhere you want, you'll find me. Now if you want give a like, share, subscribe, all them good things, and I'll catch you next time guys. Please do. Thank you. Big thumbs up.